All right, gamers, uh, how are you doing this? Quick old man gadget guy rant here. I've been playing with a number of phones that have notches that are fetishizing this extreme small bezel design. And I've come to the conclusion that they're pretty terrible for gaming. A little sad how many games I've been playing from my phone these days, but the ergonomics of a near bezel-less design are kind of terrible. I've never been on this no bezel bandwagon. If you'll pardon my recycling a video from years ago, I had something very similar to say just about normal usage, UI navigation and text entry. I keep running into this issue where the smaller the bezel is, the harder the device is actually to control. So I really like the LG Optimus G Pro and I love having all of the screen real estate on a phablet, but because the bezels are so tiny, the keys that come out to the farthest edges of the keyboard can sometimes be really difficult to hit. It's kind of hard to bend my thumb in that far. I'm actually going to be a little sad when we have phones that have zero side bezel. It's very difficult when you think about how we're supposed to be holding these phones. You know, I end up having to do that thing where I'm resting it on a pinky just so that I can scoop my hand out far enough to reach these side keys. And that's just going to increase the likelihood that I'm going to drop my gorgeous phablet or tablet or regular sized smartphone. But now we're getting to a point where really tall, skinny displays have no border, no room coming to the edges of the screen. And the edges of the screen are kind of the best place to put on screen controls for navigating your favorite games. Some titles do this better than others, sort of floating these controls a little bit more towards the middle of your screen. But most apps, most games aren't that smart, especially if you've been playing some older titles. For example, I've been grinding the hell out of Exiled Kingdoms. It's a, a Diablo clone RPG fantasy epic adventure game. And honestly, I don't think I'd want the controls cluttering up the middle of the screen, especially for when I'm trying to pull off some really sensitive demon killing maneuvers. Maneuvers. I mean, we can't all just be playing Asphalt 9, right? I know it's the game to benchmark new phones with, but if that's it, you're just going to control racing games by wiggling your screen. You're not actually interacting with anything on the display. It makes me really wish I'd spent more time with the Razer phone, because then not only would I have some nice borders against the screen so that I can reach my thumbs in, I'd also have the benefit of that space being used for better speakers pointing directly at my face. And it's not like I've got overly large hands. I mean, for years, I've been joking about my little hobbit hands and stumpy thumbs. But give me about 10 minutes of this kind of gameplay and these thumbs start cramping up and I have to move over to like a weird claw index finger tip control which is way less accurate. It continues to make me feel like this current era of glass on glass designed phones with no bezels is really just selling an incomplete phone. It's up to you to better protect your device against lifestyle abuse because glass is a dumb material to make the back of your phone out of. It's up to you to add better grip so that when you're really getting into a game, a slippery wet bar of soap glass design doesn't just go flinging out of your sweaty hands. It's up to you to spend money on cases just to add a little bit more buffer zone so that you can navigate the controls better on your screen. I mean, seriously, I used to be the no case I want to use all my phones naked guy. And now every phone that's coming out has to have some kind of protective sheath and girth adding accoutrement. My undies are definitely twisted and I'm the cranky old man of the tech scene apparently, but I'm honestly asking, I don't know how you folks are doing this. Those of you who are really into mobile games, how are you weathering this transition? How are you managing to continue playing for any length of time unless all you're playing is Candy Crush and driving games? Drop me a comment down below because apparently I really need the help. Links down below this video where you can support production on this channel, including checking out my Patreon campaign. I've got a really fun group of like-minded tech geeks building a fun community there, and it's the future home for all of my camera and audio tech reviews. Below this video should also be a shelf where you can check out the Megapickle mug. Yes, you too can drink delicious, tasty beverages out of my all-time favorite technology dad joke malpropism pun. And aside from the shameless merch plug, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and I will catch you on the next video. And aside from the shameless merch plug, you know where you... There was still water in that mug. Damn.